what's up? John Sonmez from SimpleProgrammer.com and today we're going to be talking about what happens when you leave the field and you come back and now you're trying to start over again and this is, you know, there's a lot of people have have this this problem, <laughs> uh, especially if you've, you've left for some period of time, you're trying to get back in here. But before we do it, let's, let's talk about our beautiful, lovely sponsor, Hired.com. So if you haven't heard already, uh, Hired.com has sponsored Simple Programmer. I love it, they love it, we love it, it's great, because they're awesome, because they really do help developers to get good jobs, and they really do connect you with good companies. Now, all you gotta do is you go to Hired.com, for slash Simple Programmer, you fill out the application, and you know, we'll, we'll see what happens if you're, if you're awesome, then awesome companies come and find you, and they give you offers, and they, you know, they proposition you to interview instead of you going and going and doing that. Now, not everyone gets you know through that process, and they're not available in every location. But you might as well go to Simple Program or Hire.com for a Simple Programmer and check it out. You also get an extra bonus, like an extra thousand dollars if they hire you. Normally, they give you one thousand dollars if they find you a job. They give you two if you go through my link. So definitely Hire.com for a Simple Programmer. And thank you, Hired. Really appreciate sponsorship. It helps me to reach more. people people. It helps me to have more employees and pay salaries and all this stuff that running a, a business requires. So let's talk about becoming a software developer with no experience after receiving a bachelor's degree in computer science over a decade ago. The name is MTJ. I like that MTJ. Sounds like a, like a job problem or something. Okay. What is your advice to anyone who have completed has completed a bachelor degree in computer science and has been out of the IT industry for a long time. Okay, so completed a bachelor's degree, then you're out of the IT industry for a long time, and then came back and worked as an IT help desk for a few years, and then after quitting that job, starts looking for work as a software developer. Let's say it's been more than a decade since the degree. So, okay, I'm not going to go into the background. Oh, actually, there's some additional info. I'm past my mid-30s. It's been a rough road of life for me, which I do not want to go into any details and do not want to make any excuses. Okay, fair enough. So, all right, here's the thing. Okay, well, okay, computer science hasn't really changed that much, right, in, in 10 years. Computer science, okay? Algorithms like, you know, bubble sort is still bubble sort, okay? <laughs> you know, we, we haven't like made too many advances in, in that. Technology has changed rapidly, okay? So, if you remember some of the old computer science stuff that you did, that's going to be helpful. You're probably not going to remember it after 10 years and then doing IT help desk support though. If you even really, you know, not a lot of people get their education, they don't really grasp the stuff anyway. So let's kind of throw that out. But hey, you've got the piece of paper. A lot of people want to see the piece of paper. So you, let's use that. That's good. Brush up on some of these computer science things, of course, right? And I'm trying to think about like, okay, so what, what's the best, best course of action here? Can you go and show that, you know, working in the IT help desk, can you show any kind of development experience or working with developers or anything that you did, whether you wrote VBA scripts or something that's going to show that you did some development? That's going to help you, okay? Try to add that to your resume if you can. Don't lie. Don't make it up. If you didn't do anything, hey, you know, whatever. You know, we, we just got to, <laughs> you know, you're going to have to deal with it, okay? Now, I'm going to point you to the playlist on college and degrees and starting out as a programmer because that you're kind of you're you're basically at this point you're going to have to treat yourself and act like a new college graduate. Now you do have a benefit which is that you have life experience which is valuable. You're not just some uh, you know some punk kid <laughs> coming out of college with no life experience and just you know not 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 having the wisdom that getting a few hard knocks in life will get you. You know what I'm talking about? Not no offense to you you punk kids. I was a punk kid, okay? And uh, I still need to get my teeth knocked in a few times, but uh, I'm getting there. I've, I've had enough of them to, to understand, you know, that I need to, I need to get smacked around a little bit more. All right. But if you've already been smacked around, some wise people who would hire you would know that that is valuable, especially if life has dealt you some lemons and you have uh, maybe not always made lemonade out of them, but eventually you, you got down to doing that. So 
but you still have to start out as a, as a new developer. Same advice I would give new developers. That's why I give you that playlist. And, and just to give you the, the short of it, you've got the degree, great, okay, that will, that will help. But you're gonna need to build a portfolio and you're need, gonna need to pick a specialization. I did a, there's a, a playlist on specialization because everyone asked about that. And get, get yourself some, some development stack that you're gonna work with and, and get some experience and get a portfolio, get some apps built with the new technology. You gotta d demonstrate expertise and skill, knowledge in these areas, right? If you wanna build mobile apps and put them in the app store as a portfolio or build some web apps, do something that shows that you know what you're doing, okay? You're basically starting over. No one's gonna, gonna hire you and you're gonna learn on the job. It's not gonna happen. And you're not gonna be able to rely on your old experience and your old knowledge. You don't know Jack anymore about, about the technology world, about programming. You're gonna have to learn that stuff. Okay, so go and do that. A coding bootcamp could help you in this case. I've done plenty of videos on coding bootcamps. I think they're a good idea, especially if you've got the background. It's gonna be hard though. It's not gonna be easy. I, don't, I really don't think the IT help desk part is gonna help you very much at all. The best thing that you have going for you right now is that you have a degree, okay, a relevant degree, that you have life experience, okay, and, and hopefully that you're going to work your butt off, right, and that's, that's what's going to be required. It's not going to be an easy path, I'm, I'm telling you, and explain away those gaps and the, the problems in your, your history. You're going to have to figure out a really good story, a really good spin for that, that, that shows this as a valuable thing that has gained you life experience is going to help you in your job. And I'm, I'm sure that you can find that. You just have to think about this, have this in your head ahead of time because people are going to ask you about this question. So anyway, that's it. I think that's about all that I can, I can tell you here. It's not gonna be easy, you know, but you can do this. But again, you're gonna take the same advice that I would give someone just starting out out of college, except you might have a slight advantage. Some people might say a slight disadvantage, but I think you, if you spin this right, it can be a slight advantage. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and click that subscribe button below and you will get you know the videos I do every day. I do tons of videos, lots of videos, all kinds of videos. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.